Hey everyone, it is Codextral here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stream on YouTube, Mixer, uh, Twitch, and all other services all at the same time, just from streaming from one single stream. Now let me show you what Restream has to offer. Basically, if you click on the uh, ad channel and you do have to register for an account, which is completely free, um, there's some options here for uh, doubling on the account. So if you have more than one channel, if you have like two mixers, for example, or two Twitch channels, then that's where this option comes into play. You only can use a singular channel. And if you have a custom um, RTMP server, that's where this comes into play as well. But uh, what Restream has to offer is uh, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, Smashbox, and so on and so forth, which is all these services are free to use at the 1080p, which is really, really awesome. I love Restream. Um, this is not a promotion or anything sponsored like that. This is something that I personally use. Now, after you, know, you log in and uh, you add all your channels, you know, so you click on the channel, click on the services that you want to use, and it'll take you towards, you know, Mixer.com or Twitch.tv uh, and ask you to log in. Go ahead and do so, and it will add the channel right then and there. Now let's go back to the site. So these are the current services that I am streaming on. So Twitch, you now, Mixer, Stream Me, YouTube, Smashcast, uh, which is formerly known as uh, Hitbox and Periscope. And another awesome thing is if we go to the titles, we can update the titles all at once, except for with the YouTube. You can update the title, but you have to update the gameplay. As for this, uh, you can update your gameplay from right here. Same thing from Mixer and uh, Smash, uh, Smashcast, but as for YouTube, it will only be able to change the title. So to change the gameplay is what you need to do is go to youtube.com um, slash live underscore dashboard. Then it'll take you towards your live dashboard and you just got to scroll down a little bit. And right there, it'll say gaming and what game are you playing? So just fill it out right there. Uh, that's mainly it. So now to get the uh, services up and running is you do need XSplit or OBS, and I'll show you how to uh, stream from it both. I'm assuming that you already know how to use XSplit or OBS. Um, if you don't, they'll be covered in another video tutorial. But um, on your OBS, you want to click on settings, go to stream. And click on your stream type and make sure it's selected on custom streaming server. You will go back on the restream and right there you want to click on the server that's close to you. The closer you are to the server, the less of the latency it will be um, and best response time between you and your viewer. So just click on the nearest area you're at. Then you want to click on the uh, RTMP URL, right click on that. Go ahead and paste that into the URL and get the stream key and you copy and uh, you copy the stream key. I will not show my stream key. Um, so then you just paste that in and go ahead and click OK. And assuming that you already done that and whatnot, all you have to do is click start streaming and that's it. Now you'll be able to stream um, on Twitch, you now, Mixer, Stream Me, all the other services all at the same time, just using a single connection. Now, if we were to use uh, multiple connections, so basically we're we're not using the services, and we're um, streaming to um, through here with multiple services, and uh, that's going to take more of your bandwidth of your upload speed. So that's definitely one thing that I like about Restream is I can stream to one services, and that service will stream out to the services on their connection. So I'm not wasting of my upload speed. Now let me go ahead and show you how to set up on XSplit. Alrighty, so now that you have your OBS opened up, um, it really depends on your screen and, you know, again, if you have everything set up, uh, this is my setup. I'm just going to go ahead and wave at the camera if it wants to load in properly. I guess not, but right there on the bottom right, that's my ugly face. But anyhow, um, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the outputs here and you want to click on set up a new output. And it'll say custom RTMP. Go ahead and click on that. Now you want to name it, so restream, and you want to go to the 
RTMP URL. And again, copy that URL, paste that in. And notice how it doesn't say stream key or key or key password of any of that sort. Basically, it'll say stream name. That's the stream key right there. You have to put it right there. Does it make sense why? doesn't say key or stream key, the how it's specified on OBS, but you know, go ahead and crap, that just showed. Um, I'll go ahead and copy that out. But you copy the stream key and um, uh, you go ahead and paste that in and you click okay and that's it. It's that simple and let's just assume that you already have one up there and uh, right there is mine. All I gotta do is just click on that and now I'm streaming to all these multiple services, again, Twitch, you now Mixer, Stream Me, YouTube, a Smash Cast, and Periscope. All at the same time. Now y'all are wondering why does it matter that you're streaming all at once? Well, it gives personally for me it gives the exposure out to the world. Um, definitely, I can tell them, hey, you know, um, if they're on, for example, Mixer, I can tell someone from Mixer to get on my YouTube because I'm strongly promoting my YouTube channel. And same thing with Twitch, like, hey, you know, uh, hop over on my uh, YouTube channel because I'm trying to promote and push everyone to one services. It's not like everyone's going to have Mixer and Twitch and YouTube all running at the same time as a viewer and like, oh, which one's the best streamer? Because they're going to be on one services. So you get what I'm saying that I'm trying to push everyone to one channel uh, but either or they can still use the the channel that they like the most um, I just like to push them over towards YouTube because uh, that's my main channel but either or um, it helps me out with that exposure now if this video tutorial helps you out a lot please go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and you know share this content all on your social media that helps me out a whole lot so I'll see you in the next video and you guys take care now